Well, welcome back to another part of the 100 Baby Challenge. And this is Beth Plays The Sims with uh, Cecilia. And we are now up to 38 babies. She is going to have the 39th. Now, question mark, question mark, the 40th. Because on Samantha, when I went to go see her traits, I don't know if this is just something added or not. But it says weak blood line the sims parents had no bloodline traits sims with the weak bloodline trait get an additional talent point at each spellcaster rank to spend towards the perks they also gain spellcaster experience faster and reduce the chance of overloading by 10 percent now this is a reward trait now <coughs> i don't play with vampires or spellcasters so correct me if i'm wrong on thinking that she might be a little spellcaster in that case <clears throat> she counts for two and she would be baby 38 and 39 and we would be having our 40th baby with celeste here uh celeste is cecilia sorry i keep on trying to call her celeste cecilia is about to give birth to the next baby now i do want to go ahead and mention that i've been receiving a lot of names for my friend on youtube thank you so much kelly crafts it all and um i did drop them down so that way i wouldn't lose them one of the things that i want to get done in this part is i want to go ahead and move these two guys out and i want to work with jill she is a, a um yeah she's um a vampire and i don't play with vampires so i don't know what to do with her i'm not gonna mess with her her magical things her vampiric uh things i do have some plasma in the refrigerator for her that we can give her if she gets hungry and she also has the plasma fruit in her garden from her last child that she had so let's get started um these two guys like i said are moving out today he's taking a bubble bath or a bath and lyle is playing with samantha or thinking of samantha he's going to go check on her it is eight o'clock so now after the introduction what's wrong with you go to sleep i know you're sleepy go to sleep uh samantha is here she's looking adorable if you watched the last part you saw the makeover oh are you giving okay I'm taking her out good take her out please and what are you gonna do with her because um is she gonna put her to sleep put her down and she's sleepy how about you you're hungry you have to go to the bathroom unless you are gonna go ahead and take her to the bathroom um put her down so she can go to the bathroom because she needs to go what's that red stuff guys why is there red in the tub somebody explain to me please okay i don't understand it i'm i'm really weirded out and they're in the bathroom where the toddler's toy it is at so we're just gonna go here put her down so she can go to the bathroom on her own go potty no everybody leave her alone honestly leave her alone just let her go to the bathroom please she really needs to go to the bathroom toddler lesson yeah see i was gonna be told something and then we're gonna have her come and get something to eat before she goes to sleep did it open up yes it did oh my goodness mom you need to cook so for now let me see does she have anything in her inventory yeah pear they'll be fine just eat the pear i know sweetheart eat the pear and you'll be fine okay so she's gonna have a little bit of pears mom how are you feeling can't believe we got to nothing you're fine come and make some breakfast for them so they can have something to eat uh what should we have her make okay, let's see cook like french toast let's make this one hi energy protein for the child and samantha can have some pears mommy put her down please put her down thank you now go cook samantha have your pears samantha did you eat pear you know what finish the pears that in there nobody's growing up but we do need some makeovers i should do that off screen these two guys it's friday so saturday they're leaving and they'll leave us with four kids possibly with five if cecilia cook oh she's got the asparagus over there mm, that looks really good okay um 
Samantha, are you eating? Oh, oh my goodness. What is sweet? Why is he red, guys? Somebody please tell me. That is weird. I've never seen a red fog around them. Okay, so you're low energy. Honestly, I don't know. Did you do something to your brother? Seriously. Oh, strange thirst. No. Oh, she's targeting him, isn't she? Um, here. Drink. And hopefully that helps you from targeting your brother who's the only one awake. Is that what it is? Yeah. She's really thirsty. I didn't know that. So it's her. Other than that, I don't understand. Okay, so you're at thirst. Go ahead and have another one. Maybe that would help. Okay, that should help. But I don't understand what the red thing is around. If anybody knows what that means, let me know, please, down in the comments. Thank you so much. Um, What are you going to do to your sister? Check the toddler. No, I think this little girl needs to go to bed. No, she's really hungry. Mom, did you finish the meal? What did you do with the meal, Mom? Ay, ay, ay. These sims, they lose everything. Um mom what did you do with the meal she was cooking it right and i don't see it in the refrigerator okay i'm super confused of what's going on right now it's 11 o'clock at night everybody should be asleep the little one is starving to death and this one over here has a red film you're not gonna go and I'm gonna give these to her and hopefully she can eat them eat and stop looking at your brothers and sisters as if they were meat all right so i need to find out where did you put the food seriously mom no you can't go to sleep in there okay everybody let me get everybody out of here because they're just annoying me now ah uh, let's see go to bed okay so as soon as these boys wake up we're gonna have them move out and then we'll work on the uh fixing these guys up you saw samantha so she's all done you are exhausted but you won't go to bed or i haven't put you know play on uh mom i don't know what you do with the food girl you need to go to sleep why is that red thing she's just really hungry it's like a red mist around her um okay the baby's asleep good mom what are you doing you need to come over here and make some breakfast and you were doing the breakfast and then something happened oh my goodness you make my day so much better thanks for making me smile that is so sweet let's just do this one then really quick i'm gonna keep an eye on you because it seems like if i don't like keep an eye on you you're going to go ahead and do whatever the you want um you dirtied the counter for no reason so now we have no food and a dirty counter and that is your fault unless mom is is whatever you're you're going through gone making friends make one grand friend you can't force just be keep being friends with somebody all right just make the eggs and toast i'm gonna have some coffee guys that's what's going on then it's broken just oh no here repair it please come on mom yes up in the air with the screwdriver oh the oven is busted you see that oh she maxed her level if this was a legacy challenge i would have had a point right there um so that's another thing i was thinking of starting a new legacy i finished my other one a long time ago but i was thinking of starting a new legacy challenge um with the new stuff the only thing is that i already have two this challenge and then i have my thyrus house which is another kind of a challenge to go ahead and get the girls you know uh, up in the world but once they move out i might just do that okay mom come on we need this come on it is now three o'clock in the morning everybody's grabbing what what's wrong with the chair why are you grumpy eat your chips whatever that is she's over her whatever she had if anybody knows please let me know her energy i need to get her to bed even though she probably doesn't want to uh go to bed oh god are you gonna put it down now thank you there can i have it thank you right there now this little one's gonna wake up starving so let's get you up come in grab a serving get you all done so let's see okay while well, you guys eat this is the plasma fruit trees uh and then we have our normal stuff it is winter but it doesn't seem to be like snowing really hard these two guys i have to put them into cast to go ahead and fix them and then i'm going to be moving them out off oh you're asleep okay yeah you're asleep and you're getting some breakfast how about you what's wrong with you what are you confused about ouch broken sore throat brooklyn might just tear off from the painful swallowing is that what you're going on do you not have any medicine in here mom do you have some medicine that you can share give her some medicine and then she can go to school oh no that's right today's saturday we don't go to school 
Oh no, okay, he's awake. Let's go ahead and start with him. You're hungry too. No worries. No worries. Let's get them in there. I'll be right back when they're all done. Okay, so the makeovers are Lyle. This is his every day, ready to leave the nest. And then we have Helix, which I believe you're not yet old enough to leave. He's leaving too, so that means that you're next. Uh, yeah, you're next, and we'll work on him later. He's got the reddish eyes, I think, from his father. But we are having um, Lyle and Helix leave together. And then I did do a little makeover on our little vampire here. This is uh, Jill. She's got this cute, oh, it's coming out. Oh, I might have to change that. A cute little shirt with the little uh, cactuses. And I don't know why it doesn't change the Dracula. Okay, it was supposed to be a different form, but I have to unlock it. Um, she has that green mist. Okay, I'll probably have to fix her later, but I gave her like this old Regency era type of outfit. Um, let me show you really quick because I have it in the long dresses. She just wanted to be um, her ancestors. Uh, of course, she was born into it because of her father, but her ancestors were in the era when the, that started which was the regency time and this is her with her dress and she loves the long dress and stuff for her dark form and then her regular form um some uh, little eyelashes a little bit of blush her hair that is coming through the t-shirt uh, and that's about it. And then of course you already saw Samantha, which is her baby and she's very white still Questioning if she is a Spellcaster and I guess that's gonna be found out when she grows up into a toddler Which is gonna be a while because her skills are still low But I will meet you when we get out of cast. So we're back and Let's get these guys moved out Helix and Lyle Yes, you got to go to the bathroom and why don't you take care of yourself? Actually, they're going to have to do this in their new home. Um, I don't think I have a home planned for them yet. And I hate to see him leave because I think he's the one that has the highest skills in handiness. Yes. Tell me if you guys think I should start a new legacy challenge. The old one was recorded and put on on a YouTube channel I no longer have access to. So it's kind of voided, but it was the Blanket Legacy. I did make myself a ribbon uh, congratulating myself on completing that legacy for 12 generations. I still have the family. I think I'm the generation 13th heir. So if you guys want to see that, I do have the museum. That's all. Also, I can go ahead and link that in the uh, comments down in the description down below. So you guys can see the museum of all the generations and how it started and the pictures and stuff. So I can do that. Okay. It doesn't look like you're going to eat. So can you go over here and repair that before you leave? And then once you're done taking a shower, I need you guys to really move out i need the space in this house uh travel split from household you and your brother are going to be moving out and that gives us a chance oh, are you in your regular form and you're asleep mom when are you having this baby because it seems like you're taking forever so this little cutie right here look at how sweet her sissy's reading to her i just love when the sissies actually read to their younger uh, siblings i just love it this is so cute look at this oh and she's just listening she loves her big sister so what do you guys think you guys think she's a spellcaster or it's just a random trait you know how you get random traits okay so you and you are moving out and I don't know why I have so much oh child support I keep forgetting to take that out but she keeps on getting child support so we're gonna go ahead and give you that amount that way you guys have enough to buy a house and I'll see you guys there okay so there's not a lot of houses available what is this one two bedrooms modern home for only 57,000 I will take it oh so this one's unfurnished really law who's here that one's full they can go live with the girls for now because most of them are all like full yeah they're all full oh right here move in there move in move in with your brothers yes okay so after a hiccup i got back into the game um it wasn't 
loading the, the, the game. So I had to get out and get back in, but we're back and um, we are now four children and we're still hoping that Cecilia has her baby in this episode or this part because, okay. Oh, okay. So let's check on her skills before we can grow her up. She needs to be at least five, three, 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 three. Oh no, she's ready guys. I didn't know she was ready to be celebrate her birthday and grow her up but look at this communication five three 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 and four on thinking baby it's okay it's my kitty she thinks that i'm yelling and my kitty does not like me to yell because if not she'll get up from her nap and she'll come and see what's wrong with mommy oh baby i'm so sorry i'm so sorry so sorry i should have a kitty cam so you guys can see her comment down below if you guys will like that it's okay i'll just get my mic a little closer she needs a bigger spot her spot is so tiny her butt's up against the big old corner you want me to move you baby you're so uncomfortable i'm so sorry there we go i don't want to like mess with you you scratch me because you get upset but you can fix your butt towards the window her booty doesn't fit i'm so sorry baby but move your buddy nope i'm not gonna touch it sorry guys back on track okay so let's go ahead and grow her up we do have a cake in the refrigerator so we can go ahead and open the refrigerator and we can go ahead and bring that cake back out and have cecilia just help her blow the candles help blow out the candles and little samantha and this is the time of truth we're gonna find out if she is a spellcaster and if she's not then she's just baby 39 and possibly the next matriarch um if cecilia continues to get older she's having a baby it's saturday so i need to go ahead and work on the next baby daddy and let's see what happens will she be a spellcaster or it's just my imagination there it goes um they usually kind of like come over here and kind of like you know pop up over here let's see let's see where are you going sweetie where are you going all right let's go will you be or not to be i see it keeps freezing guys i don't know what's going on okay so select an aspiration samantha skills as a toddler earned her a bonus trait because of the five so she's got two in social two in mental motor one and creativity in one rolling the dice three times one two three she is lactose intolerant and okay hey google give me a number between one and four three motor i guess it's the same thing so she's a rambunctious lactose intolerant child uh -huh. so she's she's not a spellcaster guys it would have had the little book here she does have uh i guess public something she had a little thingy there but no she's not it would have had it so we're on a number third i don't know why she got this maybe because like it says none of the parents are there's no bloodline traits weak bloodlines again additional cases parents had no bloodline traits so that's what it is okay so she is number baby 39 and we are going to go ahead and because of cecilia's age let me pause it cecilia's age is getting really close she's got 29 i don't understand it if the last time she was 32 and now she came down to 29 so that means during her pregnancy she's losing days and i don't think that's fair because when she had her baby at uh her when she had samantha she was 32 days till she got older and now she's got 29 so to me that means that she's getting older even though she's having she's pregnant so i'm gonna go ahead and add days add a negative number to subtract add the number of days that have passed at current age stage okay so i'm gonna put a three okay why is it not saying that it's 29 30 31 32 three days i said add it and it still says 29 guys i don't understand it if you guys know what's going on let me know but so in this part we um moved out the two eldest and samantha has grown up we will be working with her to have her skills up uh some of the things that i do want her to have is a lot of points so she can get the beguile 
and the romance sim um a lot of the uh this one came from happy family aspiration so she will be having the happy family family aspiration when she gets to that age because right now she doesn't have that she is just basically a rambunctious little scamp uh, so a lot of these traits is something that she's going to be having um, when she gets into that age i believe in her teenage life so we can possibly train her because like i said cecilia is getting older um, and she's getting really close she's gonna have this baby and it could be a boy and then she might have two more so we're just gonna keep her around but thanks for watching if you guys liked it please subscribe like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe share so others can enjoy this and let me know your thoughts if you guys think that i should have a uh, kitty cam so you guys can see the kitty when she is here or even a face cam i really am not comfortable with the face cam but i can try it let me know thanks for watching and until next time bye for now